I think one of the great things that we are experimenting in the Danfoss supermarket here in Denmark is, is natural refrigerants. Danfoss has had for 15 years made uh, refrigerator systems with natural refrigerants, namely CO2. And uh, now we are extremely happy that we can expand the portfolio out from Nordics to the global space with the transcritical CO2. And I think that's one of the mega trends that we now see in the cooling. And uh, this is uh, really helping us to make the, the world more sustainable. And on top of uh, the cooling effect that we, we have in here, uh, we also gain a lot with the, with the excess heat that we get out of supermarkets. Supermarkets are like mini heat producers or sometimes actually quite massive heat producers that are exactly where the consumers of heat are also placed. So often we can directly utilize the excess heat of a supermarket to heat the water in there or maybe melt down the icing from the parking spots. And very often we also can connect the excess heat from supermarkets into the district heating networks and then of course the, the excess heat of, of supermarkets and the refrigeration there becomes an advantage for the entire society. So I think that's one of the great advantages that we have now with the, with the, with the latest technologies. Well, I think everybody is very focused on energy efficiency and renewables are also coming to the play. And, and we have a lot of volatility on energy prices today, uh, especially when we talk about, uh, talk about electricity. And with AI and, and, and data uh, and with machine learning, we can also start to do peak shaving. We can, we can decide that we cool down the cool goods or we cool down the premises or we heat, heat the premises at the time when we, for example, have excess uh, electricity made out of the renewables. And that's, of course, making the whole play way more sustainable and, and helps us to be greener in the society.